This week on Viking Chronicles, we're heading out west. We're gonna go see the folks at Full Draw. And uh, if you haven't been down to Colorado, you better check out Full Draw Outfitters. We're gonna be hunting with Fred and Michelle Eichler. Of course, Fred has faked an old football injury so he doesn't have to hunt with me, but we're gonna have a great time. If we go down, the only thing that I'm concerned about is saving my life. <laughs> Look at this joint. Wow, are you kidding me? Tell me this isn't awesome. You got more critters up now than the last time I was here. So we showed up in camp. We were expecting some of the uh, hurricane victims to join us. And we were lucky enough that uh, Daryl, my buddy from Florida, he showed up. I've been looking forward to this for over a year now since we talked about it back when we were pistol training. Really the anticipation's probably as much fun as the actual hunting. So Daryl runs an archery shop down in Stewart, Florida. He also has a plumbing company, and if that wasn't enough business, he's also a cop. Chuck flew in from New York. We just met when I picked him up at the airport for this hunt. Chuck is like an old friend I'd never met before. I got a couple of chances to shoot some practice arrows to make sure the airline hadn't goofed up the bows, and Kyle Lamb and I are out there practicing all the way out to 60 yards, making sure we're good to go. That would have worked. You know, I was just checking the wind, and I think it's time to go hunt elk, don't you? So I got a phone call from my buddy Greg Poole at Bow Junkie Media, and he said, how would you like to hunt with a couple of your superstar icon kind of people? And I was like, yeah, I'm down. Who is it? And he says, well, it's Kyle Lamb. And I was like, I, who? <laughs> at the Eichler place in Colorado. And I was, Fred and Michelle? Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, I'm definitely down. I know those two people, yes. I want to go hunting with those people, and I guess I'm going to have to Google who Kyle Lamb is. Now Chuck, the first couple days, he had to take the mountain phase of this operation. I'm looking at the East Ranch thinking, oh, this is gonna be a piece of cake. I'm looking at prairies and river bottoms. And I'm thinking I can do this. And then I find out I'm going to the mountains. There's one of the extra ranches that the Eichlers have up there, one of the many properties that they have to hunt. And it's textbook, it's beautiful. We're at the foot of the Spanish mountains and there's these giant green meadows with towering mountains on each side. And you can look at the end of the meadow and you can see the tree line where it turns into rock. It's everything I've seen in the books and the magazines and the TV shows. And I'm thinking, this is it. I'm gonna kill an elk on my first day and I'm gonna kick back for the rest of the week and watch these other guys hike all over the mountain. So we head out to a, a water hole on a corner of a meadow and it's a beautiful setup. The weather's perfect and the wind is great and we sit and we see mule deer, but we didn't see an elk. We're committed though, we're coming back day two. Well, day one started out really night one, midnight. Got a late flight because of the hurricane situation, so I got here in the middle of the night. So I laid down about 1.30, back up at 3.30, two hours sleep. Felt like I had had 20 hours of sleep. The adrenaline was pumping. I didn't need sleep at this point. I was getting ready to go archery elk hunting. All right, so day one out here in Colorado, we headed out to go uh, try to chase some bulls. Zach was working hard trying to bring some of these critters in. And we headed up to the high ground. We wanted to glass this whole drainage to our front. We show up at the top of the hill. Zach busts out the easy chair. We're gonna go glass down some elk from the easy chair. I'm digging this. I think Fred Eichler's trained these guys pretty good. Fred is, is kind of known in the industry as a lazy bum. And that's good, he's, he's passed that on to guys like Zach and to me, and yeah, I like the way he rolls. We didn't have a whole lot of excitement that night other than seeing a lot of elk, but they weren't in a place that we could access due to property lines. You know, we got a glimpse of a few bulls. That was enough to feed the appetite, get us pumped up, ready to go. You know, got a couple glimpses here and there. So we're kind of sitting there watching, drooling at uh, what we see on the other side of the property line, and all of a sudden we saw a coyote. And then we saw two coyotes. And in the end, we saw seven coyotes all together. Being able to see seven coyotes in the wild like that, uh, calling them in. Zach started squeaking a little bit. They started coming in. They realized that we were not what they thought we were, and away they went. And man, Fred would have been here. He would have been freaking out. 
I guess day one we can chalk that up to Bulls 1, Viking 0.